plus Uncommon Fossil, and they presenting a future box. It's kind of an Iron Valiant deck, as though a Limitless would describe it, but it has a, com a mixture of Lightning and Psychic and attackers for the of the future uh, Paradox type Pokemon. So Iron Valiant is what the deck's called. It's got two things which make it useful. Uh, it's got the a, a good attack. Or, uh, does the most damage of any of your attackers. Laser Blade for Psychic Psychic Colors does 200 damage. It can't attack the next turn. Um, that's less like 20 less than a Pokemon like Maridon that's a similar attack, but uh, but that 220, but we can boost that damage in multiple ways. So we get above, to, we get that 220 or even get to get you know, 280s, not that difficult with it. So it's very nice attacker there, but also it's got the ability to tacky on bits once during your turn when this Pokemon moves from your bench to your active spot. Put two damage counters of one of your opponent's Pokemon, so any Pokemon you want, it's very nice. Just said softening something up, to, so you might need to put some damage counters on the active that you're going to hit into. You might need to finish something off that moved to the bench. You might be just taking a few turns to work through a low HP Pokemon on the bench. You just have options there, which is quite nice. So three copies of that, and then we play four copies of Iron Crown EX. Um, again, 220 HP. I, uh, that that's what both these psychics are. The retreat costs are two, but we can but we can cover that retreat cost, so we don't have to worry about that because our tool. Um, and it's primarily here for the Cobalt Command ability. Attacks used by your future Pokemon, except for any Iron Crown. So it doesn't boost Iron Crown, but they do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's how we get the Iron Valiant numbers from 200 to 20, 40, 60, 80 what we need there so that's very nice and we can attack with it and we will at times the twin uh, uh show tells or shuttles i'm not sure how we say that but uh this attack does 50 damage to two your opponent's pokemon can be active bench or both on the bench and that the, the damage is not affected by weakness or resistance so we can work on mimicky with it although we have to two shot it because remember the cobalt command does not boost that but it's nice having that, or but mostly you probably hit the bench with it, but largely it's just here to boost the other attacking options in the deck. So what else do we have? We have Maridon, the single prize Maridon, super, super important dragon type Pokemon, takes both lightning and psychic energy, so therefore, which are the two energies this deck's going with? And it's actually because of Maridon is kind of why I wanted to go with the lightning and psychic energies. Uh, peak acceleration is the main attack we're using. We want to go second and use peak acceleration turn one. Does 40 damage for one, so you can attach either light, lightning or psychic. doesn't matter. You kind of see what situationally is best. And then you search your deck for up to two basic energies. Attach them to your future Pokemon in any way you like. Then shelf your deck can attach it to the Maridon. You don't usually do that. You're powering up your Iron Valiant or some other attacker there. We can attack for three energy. does 160 as well. Uh, on a single prizer, and that, that may be what we want. And of course, with the Iron Crown, the, the 40 goes up to 60, 80, 100, even 120. So we can one shot. A lot of times you're either softening up so, like a, a multi prize Pokemon, or you're taking out a single prize basic on your first turn. And that's a nice start. You take a prize turn one and get your energies acceleration going. A very nice start to the game. And it's pretty easy to set up, I, I will say. And then we have two other Lightning EXs. We have Iron Thorns. This is at 230 HP. And uh, Retreat cost is 4, but again, we have the tools to retreat when we need to. And this is very good in some matchups, largely because the initialization ability, as long as this Pokemon's in the active spot, Pokemon with a rule box in play, both yours and your opponents have no abilities except for future Pokemon. So it doesn't shut off our Iron Crown because it doesn't shut down future Pokemon, but a, a, like a, po a deck, particularly Lugia, V-Star, you know, it loses its ability and it's weak to lightning Pokemon. So just you kind of crush, a, a, you know, the win rate there. I think a little, this is like 90% for Iron Thorns deck. This is not a full Iron, Iron Thorns deck, but I like playing two copies. It helps a lot there. The attack is, is solid. There's 140 for three. You move an energy to your bench Pokemon. So you just got to think it through, which, which is interesting how to do that. And of course it does get boosted by Iron Crown and our, our tool. Uh, so really good, and, and obviously you can shut down Pidgeot e e EX, Charizard EX with the Energy Acceleration, so just really good, Radiant Greninja, Gardevoir EX, just all really nice things to shut down, you can't complain about that. And then one copy of Iron Hands EX, this is the one, only, this is the one up in the deck because I think it's the most situational, the one I'd use, I use the least often. But primarily here for the Ampy very much. The second attack is four energies. It is lightning in three colors. Does 120, but if your opponent's Pokemon's knocked out 
by damage from this attack, you take one more prize. And of course, the 120 we boost with the Iron Crown and the tool. So can be very, very good. And we can Iron Press does 160 for three. But, you know, the reality is Iron Balance almost always better. It does 200, so that the damage is much higher for three energies. Um, it does have the Iron Hands does have 10 extra HP, so that could be critical. So just keep that in mind. You might survive a hit if with Iron Press. Where, which, where you would not with Laser Blade. So that might be the play. Just keep those things in mind. Those little those little points like that are what, what, what really take a deck and push up the win rates substantially. So just pay attention to that. Uh, but I like it. It's a fun deck. It's a box deck. A nice set of options. Energies here is a li on the lowish side. Um, six Psychic, Basic Psychic, three Basic Lightning. I would certainly like another Lightning Energy in the deck, but... Uh, it's working, I will say. As I play, I played a number of games with the deck. I've n I have not run out of energy, so I will say that. Um, but I, it just feels low to me, and I'm always be having to be, a lot of times I have to be careful. So that is what it is, right? All right, trainers here. Part of what makes this deck work and why I like it a lot is Techno Raider. Kind of feels like the tag team package back with the tag team uh, Pokemon, honestly, because Techno Raider, really, really good. It's I, Without this, I don't think this deck works at all. It's it's a item card. It just searches for basic poke for Pokemon. That's only basic because that's all the future. All the paradox Pokemon are just basics. But you, you discard a card, search for two future Pokemon. So we set up our bench really well, um, and we get multiple Pokemon to play turn one really consistently. And that's just super critical, right? We got to get Maridon down. We got to get what we want to accelerate energy to. Techno Radar just makes this happen so well. We also have two Nest Balls. Uh, as well to kind of boost, you know, give it a little more Pokemon search, so, which is good there. Um, the other future cards, let's see, we have. I'll hit those first. Future booster energy capsule, really important. This tool is amazing, amazing, amazing. If if it wasn't restricted to future Pokemon, it would be played like it, it would be played in every deck essentially, and probably in big numbers. What it does is it it, it the future Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat, so. Um, that's uh i'm blanking on the on the tool but there was a great tool that did that on, in, that's an expanded um i don't think it's in live beta expanded but super awesome there floatstone great tool and then the attacks do 20 more damage also a great tool as well two two great things in one tool that are better than any not, each of these is better than any tool in standard form right now and they put them together as a combination so it's just an amazing amazing tool so taking advantage of it in a, in a future deck super great and then playing the reboot pod as well attach a basic energy from your discard pile to each of your future Pokemon. it's a fun card i don't know that this has enough value honestly as i've been playing it i think i could be better off cutting this and putting a different a spec but um it, it's still in the list at this point it's fun having the, another future card in here but it is potentially good it's a way to get energies out of the discard pile and, and set things up as the game goes on but i haven't used it as much as i think to make it valuable for the deck slot okay we, we have a bunch of switching cards because we have the uh, iron valiant right to do damage and stuff so four switch four switch card uh, just and of course the four tools so that's great there the other tool we have is one exp share right active pokemon is knocked out you can move an energy to the pokemon's cards attached to on your bench so that's nice there play for arvin because we have all these tools a lot of times arvin on turn one and grab a techno radar and a future booster energy capsule and away we go um let's just running through two earthen vessels really good we need those energies in hand two counter catchers um, I like this. Honestly, uh, the deck has been working such that when I, once I'm up in the game, I'm just running away with the game, um, so I don't need it a lot. If I'm behind, obviously it is good. I can get it with Arvin, or um, so it's useful. I haven't gotten I, maybe just one copy, I will say, because I haven't been using it all that much. But you know, the more if I play it more, I might want might rethink that. Playing youngster, I'm playing three Iono. You know what that does? I'm playing two youngster. This one. Played a lot less, but I like it in paired with Iono. You shuffle your hand in your deck, you draw five cards. So it's almost as much as Iono, even at the start of the game, and it's more as the game goes on. But what's nice about Youngster, there's definitely games, you know, where your opponent bricks. In Pokemon, people brick 
you know, at least 10% of the time, probably more like 20, 25% of the time where they're just in a bad hand state, right? Bad, not a great board state and a bad hand. And, I, and it's nice and it's not good. You know, all, we all have those games where we, all we have is I oh no. We kind of need to set up our board, but we know our opponent is bricking, so we don't want to play the card. So Youngster's great in that you get a bunch of new cards, but you're not helping out your opponent out of a bad hand. So I like Youngster. Could play Research instead. I just don't like discard. You, you could play research. I just don't love it with this deck, but it could be the right play. A one lost vacuum. That's very good and very standard. Playing one copy of Kieran, um, it's useful. I haven't used it a lot, but it, it, it's an additional switch card. I forgot about that with the switch. It, you know, switch for a supporter is not great, but it gives switch or it does 30 more opponents active EX or V. And so, so it's useful, right? Definitely useful. Two super rods, two bosses orders, really good. And I think all the other cards I hit, so Reboot Pod, Technical Raider, Arvin. So that's the list. I think a very solid 60. I've played it a number, this deck a number of times. I revised the, the list a few times, so I'm very happy with the list. And i got to say, it's proving to be a very fun deck to play. Let's go take a look at the deck on the ladder and see what it can do. All right. Like to go second if I can, so I can use Maridon's attack to power something up and maybe even take a prize in the process. But... Uh, say no. Good. I'm, I'm always... I, I wish it said, do you want to go first or second? I'd feel more comfortable. I, I would know what to say more. Uh, you know, because I know they generally... All right, well, I'm going to put Iron Thorns and EX in the active. That's actually pretty good. That's actually very good. Um, this is a nice start. So I can shut them down if they have any... You know, I can't use Squawkabilly. That's the big one, right? Um, they call it can't use Radiant Greninja. Trying to think the turn one ability, you know, the basic abilities you use turn one. So, so I'm going to shut, so I shut down Gardevoir as long as he's in the active. This is good. And they're not going to attack. So I take out the Drifloon. And they, they probably don't play Rare Candy because I've been doing some Gardevoir lately and I'm not playing Rare Candy. It doesn't obviously mean it, nobody does, but I think generally Rare Candy is on the decline. Uh, so this is good. So this is very good. So I want this, and the tool I want is... I think I want this tool, right? So I like this guy. What do I want to discard here? Do I ditch an energy? Keep my switching? Um, so I, I could do like a, a, a multiple switch turn as well. What do I want to attack with here? I'm going to keep the switching cards. I need them a ride on. Good. I guess I want Iron Thorns here. No. Wait, do I have... Oh, I don't have Iron Crown. I mean, I do have Iron Crown. Okay, so... And... I'll grab this guy. Now I'm going to grab this so I can start to spread damage around. That's my thought. This, this, this. I don't want to spread damage yet, though, I don't think, right? So I'm going to just switch into my attacker. Actually, I don't need to heal, so... Don't so save the switch cart. That's better later. I do sixty. I take the knockout. Life is good. I think I want. I do want to attack with iron thorns. I do believe. So lightning. Uh, I really do feel like I need more energies in this deck. I, it, it's working. I haven't run out of energy yet. I will say that. Um, at times the deck doesn't. I, I doesn't always work. But no deck always works anyway. But I'm, when I'm losing, I'm not losing because I run out of energies. But I feel this is the number of energies this list is generally playing as I looked around, right? I kind of customized my own list based on stuff that was out there for this deck. I kind of took my own start first. I kind of put together the base set of cards I thought the deck wanted. I looked through. I, I'll, I'll just talk about kind of how I built this deck while, while the game's going on a little bit. Um, I decided I wanted a future box deck of some type. I wasn't certain what it was, so I just called up all the future Pokemon, looked at all the future trainers. They said, okay, the trainers were more simple. Like, okay, I want this, this, and this for the trainers. Put the number of copies in the deck that I wanted, which is the four 
what's the what's the techno radar and for uh, future booster energy capsules? I want a four and four of those. I wanted one of the uh, future whatever the A spec is. I, I I'm going with that. I don't know if that's the best A spec, but definitely want to try that. So unfair stamp. That's okay. It's not a, a, an amazing hand, so it's okay. Um, so I need to get the other uh, iron guy in play. That's what needs to happen here. Because <sighs> he hits through abilities, and they conceded. Okay, Cause I, but I did have the ability to take out the other guy. Now, did I have the energy to make it, to pull it off? I'm not positive. But my opponent conceded. They, they didn't obviously like the iron thorns and got the win there. All right, see how things go. Would like to go second. See if I win the coin toss. Um, I've gone second more often than not and get to go second again, as long as I click the right thing and just say no to first. Um, the deck's winning more than losing today, which is nice as I'm sitting there recording videos for the video, recording games for the video. Uh, so I'll put the Iron Crown in the active. Uh, this is good. I have Arvin. I have Iron Valiant. So I could swing the Iron Valiant in potentially, but I'm not going to. I need to get my on into the active is what needs to happen there. Um, kept the Iron Valiant in hand because with the possibility I could spread my two damage counters. Okay. Uh, up against Future Box versus, versus Future Box. Okay, so this gets tricky um, as to how this game plays out. So I do need to attack with my on still. If they play, depending on what the deck is, if they play Generator, but gen generally, if it's future hands, which it probably is, that's, I don't know if I like that matchup, but, you know, it is, because yes, they play Generator, so, which means they might be able to take, attack, turn two with Iron Hands going first, right? Whereas I can't do that, because I don't play Generator, because Psychic Energy is very important in this deck as well. Um... Let's think, the, the number, so Heavy Baton, yeah. So it's it's a future hands deck, Town Store, okay. So I'll take advantage of that as well. Um, actually, EX, so that that's good. Um, they're gonna send up the Maridon, okay. I mean, the thing is they've given, wow. Okay, I need energy is what I need now, right? So I need energy. That's a given. Unfortunately, I need energy, and I grab a tool, and I'm out of tool, so, okay. So EXP shares prized. Okay, so this guy... I need to discard cards. Am I going to ditch both bosses? I'm not loving this, but I, it's really... I'm in a weird spot here, right? Energy, energy... I guess I keep... I mean, boss is just too good not to keep, right? So I get rid of an energy. I, I want to attack with this with him, right? So I need to keep the... Well, I'll attach the lightning, I guess. Doesn't really matter. So I need a Maridon. And... Let's think I have Valiant, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I do not get the knockout, do I? That part's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay, but it is what it is, right? So we work with what we got. Retreat into Maridon. I kind of... I mean, the, taking that one prize probably doesn't swing the game anyway. But, um, and I used Arvin, so I had the boss still. Do I attach my tool? I don't think I do. So I guess I power up the Iron Crown. No, I power up the Iron Valiant is what I do here. Let me get the tool attached so I get the knockout next turn if they attack with one of their guys. And what do I need? I need Psychic, Psychic. Oop, go back. Just checking on the, what the energy costs for my different attacking options are. So I am Valiant, but at this point he's doing 260. So that's, you know, more than enough. Um, so see what happens here. 
I can attack again. I don't mind that. Um, so they, they they get their their tool, their their future booster energy capsules. They can get free retreat. So the prime catchering, they're going to try to take out, and they conceded, so they didn't feel they were going to get the knockout that turn. Um, look, they didn't know I had boss, so but I might not even use boss. So anyway, got another win, getting wins. Um, getting quick wins with this deck right now, and uh, part of it is the deck, um, you know, it, it's a bit scary with, with, with the options, partly because the ability lock, although in that case, that the ability lock wasn't an issue, but just, you know, it, it, it poses some interesting questions to your opponent that they sometimes aren't sure what the answers are, and in which case, they will qu do some quick bails, I'm finding, up against this deck. All right, see how it goes. Been winning a lot more than losing, and that's nice. I've been going second a lot too, which is nice, and get to go second again. So a big plus there. Say no to first. Um, you know, the other thing is I, I'm getting a lot of quick wins. Oh, it's not been a lot of exciting games, and I may end up having to... Well, Iron Thorns could be very good, actually. This is actually nice. This is actually good. I wish I had some more cards in hand, but we'll see. So I have Iono or Youngster. I like both those options, right? Because if my opponent doesn't have a good hand, I can Iono. I mean, I can young. I can Iono if I, I see a, one more card with Iono, and, and it resets my opponent's hand. So if they if they if they see if I seems like they're done well or have good some, I think they have a good hand. Um, then that's what I do. If like they do this, they then I assuming they don't have a good hand, and you know what? I'm going to. Um, not attached. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna win the game this turn probably. Right? That's actually what I'm gonna do. So Maridon goes into play. Just gonna need an energy, right? That's all I'm gonna need. So actually, I'm gonna Iono because I get one more card, and I can donk this turn. I just need an energy, and I have game, right? So I will of course grab two Iron Crowns. Just make life easy. I'll attach, I'll attach. So at this point, actually 40. So I'll, I'll give myself my free retreat here. I'll leave him there for now. Drop this on here. I play the Iono. If I hit energy, it's it's a donk, and that's always fun to get to. And got the one energy that I needed. And so we'll see. So got the quick win there. So liking that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I do 80, and I could have got two more Iron Crowns down. If, assuming they were in deck, I don't remember. I'll just do that. And so there we go. Uh, got the, they conceded. And hey, this deck is just rolling, I got to say. It, it's rolling really well. Um, getting these quick wins. Uh, you know, what am I, I I'm only, I'm kind of frustrated because I'd like to show the gate deck with a longer game, but maybe this is what the deck is. You get a lot of quick, cheap wins, and at times you're going to, you know, you're going to get overpowered in the long games possibly, but you get cheap, quick, look, quick wins are in a lot of ways better than long wins because you get to play more games. All right, see how things go. But not a roll where I've get, gotten to go second a lot. We'll see if that continues. No, well, I lost the coin toss. We'll see what happens. If I go go uh, second, it's because my opponent wants to go first. And actually, most decks do want to go first as well. So, um, and that's okay, right? Because um, I would have chosen to go second anyway. So I go. So yep. So they go first. They're an evolution deck, I assume. Um, I'm a basic deck, and I. So, uh, okay, this is fine. Put the Iron Crown in the active. Because it gives me the option to swing the Iron Valiant into the active if I want to. See how they set up. So, Grookey, so... Okay. See how this goes. And, uh, Bug Catching Set. Alright, see what two cards they grab here. If they don't get another Pokemon down, I can... I think I can get the Donk. Uh, well, let's see. I have, so they have the Diplin. Let's see what if they bench anything else. And uh, Festival Grounds, getting th their board set. Um, but this may just all right. This is this is another Donk. So this this deck is going really well.
is all I can say. Is all I can say. So play the Arvin, get my tool, which is super awesome. I have the energy. So I grab Technic Radar. I'm, uh, oh, wait, I already have that. Okay, I grab that and that. Techno Radar. I will Techno Radar away in energy. Grab, what, two Iron Crowns? Just might as well. Just let my opponent know what's happening here. I will switch into the active. I'm and I have the knockout, and you know this deck is like my opponents aren't setting up well in all these games, but hey, doing you know this damage is is good, and and in the process, besides even if I you don't get the dock, you, it's you're setting up what's going to happen, right? You're you're getting your board state set up. Um, the abilities look like the, like the Iron Thorns wasn't effective against this matchup because they were a non-rule box ability based deck but you know obviously iron thorns is good um so look i think i'm going to call it there i played a number of games i don't you know we'll see what i actually put in the final video um imagine it'll be that that last game and, and a couple others maybe all short games what what, what what are my concluding thoughts here um i'm really pleased to have two iron thorns not every deck that i've that's not the list aren't always playing that i you know the, initial, the initialization ability is very good, I think. So I like having the second copy. I didn't see Lugia today when I was recording, but I, I ran up against Lugia a few times the previous yesterday um, and when I was testing out the deck, and I really liked, you know, in Luke, the uh, double iron thorns against Lugia kind of make, makes that pretty much a, a guaranteed win. It's not it quite, but it's just about there. Um, you need two Maridons. I, I think the count of the Pokemon is pretty solid here. Um, I would like maybe another energy. I'd probably drop in another lightning if I if I had one more to add. I'm not sure what I'd cut though. You could cut a switching card. The deck may have more switching than it needs. Um, you know, I'm playing youngster in the deck. Maybe youngster goes. You could cut youngster, or um, you know, if you don't, I like I like youngster in Iona. Some decks, a lot. There's a decks that play research. It's good. I just don't. I, I'm not always happy with discarding all those items that you can't recover and some of which you're going to need. Um, but, but obviously it has value. Um, the, the problem is if, if you play a card like Research or whatever, whatever, we don't have support or search in the deck. So you have no control over what you're getting. You're just kind of, you, you are a bit in top deck mode is what I'll say. Uh, what makes the deck viable, I think, is this future package, particularly the Techno Radar, because that's a real, that, you know, that's, really great at getting Pokemon in play. So that's really good. And Arvin of course, is very good because you have the Techno Radar, your tool. You, you know, we have Earth and Vessel, which is really critical in the deck as well. You could even play a third copy potentially because you, you definitely are at times, you know, you're always Arvining, getting Earth and Vessel during the game. And if one's prized, you know, working with one for the course of the game could be tough as well. Um, but look, and uh, Reboot Pod, I don't think I actually used it in any videos I recorded, but playing with the deck the other day, I definitely did use, and it's fun. I don't know that it's necessary, though, because the Maridon does a pretty good job powering up, so it may be more of a fun card than an essential card, in which case, you know, dropping something else and maybe Prime Catcher just to get some extra switch, right? Uh, none of these videos was I using Iron Valiant a bunch, but that's an option. You know, it's kind of a deck where you have options. You you can you, you can obviously Maridon's great at taking out low HP Pokemon um, and powering up your bench. Iron Thorns very disruptive. You can switch in and out with your Iron Valiant. You can your and and, um, and it's a nice attacker as well, right? You get this guy. So a lot a lot of times you just play one Iron Valiant down and a couple Iron Thorns or the tool so that then you are one-shotting whatever you hit. You need to get Iron Valiant to one-shot things, and that might mean three. You might even need, you know, you might need, say, three Iron Crowns, in which case you don't have, and you probably have a, you know, you have something else going on, so you don't have a lot of bench space for Iron Valiant. I think that's the case. Um, Iron Hands is, that one's kind of the, I'm happy with just one copy of that because, you know, um, I only have three lightning energies. Arm press is not that common. Uh, it, it, it does hit for lightning weakness, but but it does less than the iron valiance attack. So you're probably using iron valiance attack instead. It's really here for ampy very much, which is very niche and very situational. Although it's nice because you can boost obviously the 120 up with the iron crowns and the tool. 
Um, but I like not, I, I like this more than the Iron Hands, Iron Crown box deck that's probably more commonly played just because you're really leaning on Iron Hands, which it, it, so you're much more situationally dependent here. It's more versatile. I feel like I'm just in a better place against more matchups. So a very fun deck. Definitely encourage you to give this deck a try. And let me know if you have thoughts about what how this list can be changed, either in the Pokemon or trainers or energies. Anyway, take care, have some fun, and play some Pokemon.